I'm a Z Zero Mio, a reggae singer, songwriter, musician, producer as well. And I'm the son of a man they call Max Romeo, you know. And I'm just here to carry on his legacy and also to bring my own ideas, you know. So it's basically a mixture of roots music and modern reggae music. That's my sound, you know. Yeah. Well, it's been, it's been amazing because it's very special for everyone because it's Max Romeo's last tour. So everybody is putting their all, you know, everybody enjoying the work. It's not really like a pressure, even though it is exhausting sometimes. But when you go on stage and the people start to listen to the music that you're singing and the energy just start to flow, you know, so... It's been amazing if I should just sum it up, yeah. For this project, it was it was quite different because it's actually a Danish. Some people from Denmark, they they reached out to Walsh Fire from uh, Major Laser and they, they were basically asking him to scout some new talent, you know, and he pointed them to me. And that's where the connection happened. I would start to work on the EP and... It's just basically that, you know. Do the songs, them and people, them love it, yeah. <laughs> we were all very focused on the project because, as you know, you couldn't go outside, you couldn't, there was nothing happening, so everybody was just super focused, and that's how that album happened because that was like, yo, I need to work on an album, but I don't want to do it. The old style, I want you to implement some different style, you know. So I started work on the beats. He heard a couple of the beats and he, he became extra motivated and was like, yeah, let's work on, a, on an album. I want to do an official album. But I produced several more albums, like Fazana, all of her albums, and I composed most of the beats, you know, and I've done some work locally with other artists, you know, Loot and Fire, Warrior King, enough artists, so... Well, locally in Jamaica, yeah, quite a few, but not really like people. People come to me in our community, our parish, a lot of people look up to us. So a lot of people who is trying to get a start will come to us like Ibamar. He recorded his first song in my father's home studio. I have many other artists. I, don't, I can't call them by name because for me, in the studio, it's more of a business to me because it's my studio, so I'm more like focus on the business. I don't really focus on the details, you know. But for established artists, as I said earlier, I work with Loot and Fire, Warrior King, and many others, you know. It depends on the sound that I'm that I'm trying to get. So, if I want to get a root sound, I I would basically program it digitally. Then I have musicians play it back with real instruments, you know. And sometimes I want a more modern sound, so I'll just leave it as it is. Well, I use Pro Tools, and I, but I mainly use Logic Pro, to be honest, because I'm always building beats and writing songs, you know. So that's my go-to, the Logic Pro, yeah. Well, if I must be honest, I never really wanted to be a musician or a singer. You know, I really wanted to do medicine or sports. That was Those were the two things I was interested in at a very tender age. And then as I grew, the studio, we have a warm studio, so I, I had access to the studio over the years. So I used to go in the studio after school and I used to get some ideas. I listened to my father working and I would try to implement my own idea behind the scenes, you know, like just singing some songs, or in some melody. And over the, the years, I'm actually a self-taught musician, you know, and singer. Yeah. So over the years, I developed the skills. But the composition, the producing part was way in the end, like when I was like 14, I really started to focus on that. But ever since I was like six years old, I've been singing writing my own songs. But then they weren't that really serious of songs, but they're the ones that really bring me to where I am right now, you know? 
Well, it's it's something that I want to do, but it depends. It depends on how I'm feeling when I reach home. Because, you know, as young artists, sometimes it's good to be on stage, but sometimes you have to really go behind the board and try to do some groundwork, you know? Try to get some, like an album, put an album together. So the same people that I work with on the African Youth EP, they've been telling me that there's potential that we can work on an album because... They've gotten a good reception on the EP. So maybe when I reach home, that will be my focus for the summer beyond. But if they call, I won't say no, but I won't promise anyone nothing because I'm like a free, free, free farm person, you know. I would prefer to be even behind the board making music. It's like equal to me, you know. It's not really like performing. I... Being around in the studio, it's the same feeling making music for me. Don't make them tear me, lion. Don't make them tear me, at a fire will blaze up if they ever try to shake us. Yeah, man, this is Azizi Romeo representing for Jam World 876. You know, if you want real Jamaican news, and you know, we have to link well, Jam World 876. Babylon is leading. Listen.